In this lesson, we're going to be talking about applications of percents. And this is for all of you who say, when are we ever going to use this? So there are a few applications that we need to know how to use percents um, in the real world. So we have discounts, we have markups, we have taxes, and we have interest. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to focus mainly on markup and discount. So discount means to make something cheaper. Marking, marking up is what companies do to make a profit on items. So we're going to start with discount. So our formula is going to be sales price equals the original times 100% minus the discount. So we've got three pieces here. As long as we have two of them, we can solve this equation. So I'm going to replace or substitute in these values. And a reminder to Monday's lesson, whenever I see a percent, I'm going to rewrite it as a decimal. So sales price, don't know it, but that's what we want to find. I'm going to shorthand it to SP equals original 25 times 100% minus the discount. The discount is 15%. Minus 15%. So we're going to show our steps. 25 times 85%, which equals 25 times 0.85. And if you pull out your calculator, you're going to get that the sales price is $21.25. This is typically the one way, the way that you will do this um, or see this in the real world. This is what you're going to see on math quizzes, tests, um, where they give you two parts and they ask you to find the missing piece. And this is probably the hardest one to do just because it involves one extra step. So sales price, I'm going to take these and plug them in and we're going to solve in this case for discount. That's the one piece that's missing is question mark. So sales price is $20 uh, equals the original 70 times I'm going to already change these two decimals 1.0 minus D. So first step I know I can divide everything by 70 and everything by 70 and I get a decimal point point two eight six and I'm going to round that to the nearest percent so point two nine and I am left with 1.0 minus D. Technically, this is a two-step equation, but we're going to solve it in one. So in order to get D by itself, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, minus 1.0. And I get a negative, negative 71, or 0 0.71, sorry, equals negative D. But the negatives are going to cancel, so I have 0 0.71 equals D. That's not a percent. We need to write our discount as a percent. So uh, to change a decimal into a percent, I need to move the decimal point two to the right. So this is D equals 71% or the original is 71% off of the sales. The other half to this is a markup. A markup is going to take some number and increase its value so that we are selling it for a new amount. So the words that we're using here are retail and wholesale. Wholesale is what the store bought it for. So you can think of this as original as well. But I'm just trying to in introduce some vocabulary. So retail equals uh, original or wholesale times 100% plus markup. So we're going to take these and fill them in. If you want to try it on your own right now, just pause the video and let's get to it. So retail, R, don't know it yet, equals wholesale 30 times 100% plus markup, which is 125%. I'm going to start simplifying. 30 times 100 plus 125 is 225%. I'm going to change this to a decimal. 30 times 2.25. And our final is, sorry, didn't pull it up is $67.50. Now over here I have retail and markup, but I don't have the wholesale. 
so retail is 80 equals wholesale, I'm going to use W, times 100% plus 150 percent. So simplifying down, we get a 80 equals wholesale times 100 plus 150. So I'm, I'm going to skip a step here. This is 250 percent, but I'm going to change it to a decimal, 2.5. We're going to divide everything by 2.5. And I get that W equals $32. So that means that they originally bought it for 32. They marked it up 150% and they sold it for 80. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.